Boys and girls, we're going to be going over what I did today, October 5th, 2020. Okay, so the first thing we did was we wrote our spelling words. We are in a new six weeks, in a new reporting period. So we went ahead and wrote down our spelling words in our writing part of the journal. Um, and they are spelling words that end with suffixes. Again, I know we had that in the past, but we change your spelling when there are, when we add those suffixes, when we add those endings. And I have some notes on the next page that you can copy down. So go ahead and copy that down. You can pause it at this moment to do one through 15. And then here are the rest. So you can find these under your ELA Google Classroom under 2.1. You can also find them on page 43 of My View 4.1. And for homework tonight, they're pattern highlights. So I kind of already gave you some examples, excuse me, in class. And here's an example. I want you all to put all of those words that end in EST, and then you highlight how they are the same, the ending suffix or the pattern. And then you would go on to make sure you do all the ones that end in EST, and then you do the ones that end in ER, so like earlier, lazier, prettier, huger. So you would highlight the ER at the end. So those are the pattern highlights, okay? And these are some notes that we did with the words. So words change their spelling when you add the suffixes ed, ing, er, or est. One of the rules um, for words that end in y, drop the y and add i before the ending. So like pretty ends in y, so I dropped the Y, added an I, and then we add the suffixes ER or EST. Same thing with lazy and same thing with early and scary. Deny, cry, and supply. So you drop the Y, add an I, and then you add ES or ED. You add those suffixes. The baby cries all day long. The baby cried all day long. The school supplies you with food. The school supplied you with food. Okay. Now for number two. Four words that end in a CVC pattern, that's consonant, vowel, consonant. Double the last consonant before adding an ending. So for D, for sad, uh, it's a consonant vowel consonant because S is a consonant, A is a vowel, and D is a consonant. We double the last consonant, which is D, and then we add our suffixes ER and EST. So it becomes sadder and saddest. Then we do ship. It's the last three um, letters are HIP. H-I-P, consonant, vowel, consonant. We double the last consonant, which is P, and then we add the ending, which is E-D or I-N-G. Tag is the same, another example. Okay, and then we just did a few more. I mean, this is the last um, notes that we did on this. For words that end in E, drop the E before adding an ending. So huge, drop the E. And then we added ER and EST because obviously if we would leave the E, there would be two E's. Uh, tie is a special example because um, yes, you do drop the E and then you add ED for tied. But when we say tying, it's not an I anymore. We have to make it into a Y. 
and then add ing. So that's some, this is a word that you might need to memorize. Okay, and that was it for um, this one. We'll continue with the rest of reading tomorrow. Um, we did go ahead and do our picture walk. Let me go ahead and get that out. We did go ahead and do our picture walk for our story of the week. Reaching for the Moon, this is page 19 on um, My View 4.1 by Buzz Aldrin. We went ahead and did a picture walk. Uh, we made a prediction of the story. The story will be about the life of an astronaut named Buzz Aldrin, okay? So we went ahead and went over the title. Um, the genre, which is an autobiography. And the story ends on page 33. So if you did not do the picture walk, go ahead and do it for tonight. And before we actually did this, I introduced um, an article that is related to this story. And that was this article. NASA lays out 28 billion plan to return astronauts to the moon in 2024. I had mentioned to the students in class that there hasn't been an astronaut on the moon uh, for quite some time. So um, again, this is relevant news. And this was published September 21st, 2020. We know this is some sort of news article or um, online article, uh, some form of media, because of course we have the writer, we have the date. This is more of a headline uh, than a title. And we have a photo, a cut line of that photo, and then um, of course the writing below it. And so this is related to the story of this week. Okay, so that's what we did for reading. Again, we'll continue that tomorrow. And then for math, we went ahead and did uh, our notes for this week, decimal place value. Okay, so you can have some time to copy that down. So again, we're com kind of comparing this like if it were uh, money. So we have our ones, tenths, and hundredths, which are after the decimal. Okay, so here are the rest of the notes. This is a place value chart. This is what we've been going over, but now we're adding the decimal point, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. The decimal point is a period separating the ones and the tenths in the decimal number. The decimal shows the value less than one, such as tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. And there we go. Okay. And then we have some sort of a visual representation of the ones. So the ones would be like a dollar. It would be like one dollar. And we went ahead and colored in or highlighted the whole grid because a hundred pennies equals a dollar or 10 dimes are equal to a dollar. A visual representation of um, tenths, right, would be a dime. So we went ahead and did one bar here, and then we colored in 10 units like if it were 10 pennies. That would be that. And then we went ahead and did this last one here for the hundredths. We went ahead and compared that with a penny 
So we only highlighted or we only colored in one in this whole grid because remember 100 pennies equals one whole dollar. So it's like if we only highlighted one penny and we wouldn't do anything to this. Okay. And then these are some different ways of um, representing four and 38. We have it in our place value chart. We have it in our fraction. So it, it's read four and 38 hundredths. So we hear hundredths at the end. So we know that 38 is gonna be out of 100. We have the word form, so it's just how I said it. That's the way it's gonna be spelled. Sketch. There's four dollars, three dimes, eight pennies, four holes, three tens, and eight pennies. It's the same way over here, four dollars, three dimes, and eight pennies. Then we have the expanded form, which is something we did in the past as well. Okay. That was that, and then for homework, boys and girls, it was basic facts one and two. Basic facts one on page seven. Remember, we're using the commuted property and now we're adding the division as well. So it's this front page and then this back page, page eight, okay? For homework and something I forgot to mention from our reading um, is to make sure you write down your username and password um, and your reading level I did send this to your parents um, yesterday so go ahead and do that ask them for that and then you write it down I did tell some of you all your reading level and this is on the reading journal um, in the back of the front cover um, and then we went ahead we did of course some science for today. I told you all to go over the technology lesson. Um, give me one second. And that is on page 85. We went over some forms of technology. Um, we did stop on page 88, but you guys should have read all of this during your time and then if we go back to last week's lesson, if we go back to last week's lesson, page 73, we have the design process steps and that is gonna help you answer page five on the writing and the content areas. And this is something we discussed um, today. We were supposed to do it last week, uh, but we went ahead and did that today. So go ahead and turn that in.